Hello again, YouTube. I was gonna just show you my uh, my Headway battery I, I bought from Battery Hookup. Um, it's 32 cells. Um, it's 64 amp hour. Um, cost $340 ship, I think. Um, it uh, it was arranged in a 24 volt and. The way it was arranged, you just had to separate separate it down this middle, and um, let's see what else. And this one was separated. You had to connect it, and uh, um, it had like I'm trying to think. I don't know. I think these were separated on the ends, so you had to connect them the way it was something I can't remember how it was but anyways um and I was gonna just it said like I'll oh, just cut it down the middle and you have two 12 volt batteries but I was gonna do it that way I bought two BMS's even though I didn't know if I had to this is no, not BMS's but the balancers which I'm totally lost with um and then I hooked one up and burned it up so I had one BMS so or one balancer sorry so I just made a couple of bus bars at work and broke it in and arranged it so it was like every one that everybody else would, you know, the way they set up when they put them in boxes and stuff. You know, the uh, those kind of suck because it has the nice copper bus bars. But um, these normally are a solid one. That's a solid one, and I, I didn't get around to making one making those at work so I just took one of my other ones and cut it in half and made a jumper so that each bank is connected I mean it comes up as 13 volts when I check it but the problem I'm having is the balancer it also it, it came in this enclosure the steel enclosure which actually pretty well that's like a some electronics that came with it, maybe the BMS sets originally with it. And they said in the ad it was like, oh, a relay and a fan, and the fan was broke, the relay was busted from shipping, but I didn't need it anyways. But it's a pretty nice enclosure, but I don't have room for the enclosure, so it all got discontinued. And it also has a um, um, uh, piece of acrylic, uh, like Lexan that screws over the top and the bottom I don't know where the hell they even are um, but uh, I don't know problem I'm having is the balancer I hooked the balancer up the way I've seen it on YouTube videos and it's like burned up <laughs> up in smoke and so I rechecked everything and actually no the first one I burned up I was hooking it up to half one of my 12 volt size that burned up. So I had one balancer left. So I just rearranged it like this so I could use one balancer. And I hooked it up and it went up and spoke. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You know, I hooked the black wire to this negative one. I hooked one of my other wires to this positive. I hooked it to this. And I hooked it to this side and this side. That's the way I, I'm pretty sure that's the way I've seen him do it. And as soon as I plugged in the little module, it went up in smoke. So I don't know. Kind of at a loss. I'd like to install it, but I don't know if I should do it without a balancer or not. I, I don't know. I mean, it's probably a good idea. I don't want to ruin it. I don't think it's going to catch on fire, but it might not work as good Not be, if they're not balanced. And I don't want to ruin it. I mean, it's more cheap. I mean, as far as lithium goes, it's 340 bucks is pretty reasonable, but as far as money goes, it's 340 bucks. Anyways, if anybody has any suggestions, uh, I, I'd, I'd be more than happy to hear some advice on how to hook this damn thing up. I mean, with the balancer in there. But, you know, it comes down, it's over, it goes up, over, down, up, and that's my 13 volts. Seems to work fine. And the way it's configured. But 
anybody's got any advice or can send me in the right direction on how to hook up the balancer on it, where to buy a balancer and how to hook it up, I would be very appreciated. All right. Okay. Take it easy. <laughs>